Welcome to another edition of Golf Tips on Shaw TV. With me is Jeff Hamilton from the Sioux Golf Club. And you know, when we get upset on the golf course, you yell at yourself and say, get a grip, get a grip. But Jeff, that's very important, isn't it? Today we're going to talk about actually getting a grip and the proper way to grip a club, whether you're on the tee or whether you're on the fairway, how you grip your club is very important, right Jeff? Absolutely, Gino. Um, the foundation of any good swing, good shot is having a good, good grip on the golf club. Some and people like to squeeze too hard, others absolutely, just do it yep, too yep, loose, yep, so show us. Yep, starting off, okay, me being right-handed, okay, I'm going to try to put my top hand on the grip, my left hand, okay, notice I can see the butt end of the club, okay, this is very common that people end up over the end of the club and you can sort of lose control of the club and stuff and if you wear a golf glove and you've got a hole worn in the heel of the glove, let me see Gino, Oh, we got a mark coming. That's a new glove, is it? <laughs> uh oh. Um, I have a mark. That's probably what we're doing. Okay, so let's get gripping the club with the butt end of the club out. When I put my hand on the grip, do you notice between my thumb and index finger there's a bit of a V here? Right. Okay. That's going to sort of point, letting my club sit flat on the ground, that's going to point to my back shoulder, which is my right shoulder. Okay. When I put my other hand on the grip, I've also got a V between a thumb and index finger, okay? That's again going to point to my back shoulder, which is my right shoulder, okay? So gripping the club, I get both hands on, V between the thumb and index finger points to your back shoulder. Why don't you show us the left-handed uh, version, Gene? All right, so I've got uh, my right hand is here. Yep. Showing the butt end. Yep. Okay, and I'm going towards my right shoulder. Your left shoulder. Left your shoulder, back shoulder, sorry, for your left back shoulder. And then I'm going like this to form the V, right? Excellent. We might even turn that hand a little more so we can see that going that way. Can you see those two knuckles? Right. That's a very important point. A lot of times when people slice the ball and stuff, they have what might be called a weak grip, which this hand gets turned over here a lot. Okay. Okay. And then it's hard to square the club up when we hit it. Okay. Can you see those two knuckles now? I can. Excellent. Perfect. So that looks pretty good. Um, again, a couple of the keys. V between the thumb and index finger on each hand, kind of pointing to your back shoulder, right shoulder for right-handers, left shoulder for left-handers, okay? Um, one other really important part of the grip is how tight do I grip the club, okay? Um, as we know, when we swing a club, it requires rotation, flexibility. If I'm standing there gripping the club like this as tight as I can. It's very hard for me to move and be flexible. Okay, I'm very tight and tense. I want to grip the club very light so that I can actually turn my body and rotate. So we don't want to create tension in the hands and arms and shoulders. If your grips have little wear marks where your fingers are, we're going to check your clubs in a second, Gino. <laughs> okay. If your clubs have little wear marks, you're gripping the club too tight. Oh, you're good there. <laughs> Thank you. But again, a nice, light, relaxed grip, okay, um, the club's not going to fall out of your hands. Your, your hands will actually tighten naturally a little bit when you swing the club. So again, V's pointing to your back shoulder. Don't want the club over the end of the butt end of the club. And we want a nice, light, relaxed grip so we can make the fluid, flexible swing we're trying to make. Great. Thanks, Jeff. Good advice. So if you want a good golf shot, get a grip. For Shaw TV, I'm Gino Cavallo.